Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ramos Singh. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the mini mental state examination MMSC. So we'll do the examination if somebody is having cognitive impairment like memory problem. This examination has total score of 30. In the normal range is 25 to 30. If somebody has score of 25 to 30, it means he is having normal cognitive function. If it is 21 to 24, that is mild. If 10 to 20, that is moderate. And if less than 10, that is severe cognitive impairment. Now doctors, before starting this exam, we need to take the consent from the patient. We need to tell him that you don't seem well, so I need to ask you questions that might seem a bit odd, but they are part of my consultation. Next doctors, you can remember this examination by simple mnemonic, that is ORA RCL, O R A R C L. This simple mnemonic is covering all the questions we need to ask in MMSC. So now I am moving forward towards this examination. First of all, orientation. Orientation has 10 marks. We will ask questions about the place orientation and time orientation. In place orientation, we are going to ask 5 questions that are in which country you are, in which county, in which city you are, in which building you are, and in which floor you are. Every question has one mark, total of 5 marks in place orientation. Next is time orientation. Time orientation again 5 questions, 5 marks. In which year we are, in which season we are, what is this month, then what is the day of the week today, and then the, what is today's date. 5 questions, 5 marks. Patient is able to answer all these questions, give him 10 marks. Not able to answer questions, just score him according to that. If patient is giving the right answers, just appreciate the patient, and if he is giving wrong, Correct the patient and proceed to the next question. So orientation 10 marks, place orientation, time orientation. Next is registration. You tell the patient that I am going to say three words. You need to repeat after me and try to memorize them as fair. I will ask you to repeat and recall afterwards. So this has three marks. So you are going to say three words regarding any object that is available in the room, in the examination room, you can say table, paper, and pencil, ask the patient to repeat. Patient able to repeat all these three words, score in three. And then move to the next question. Next is attention. Attention has five marks. So here you will say the patient, can you please spell the word, word backwards. Alright, so W-O-R-L-D. Patient is able to so, uh, backward D, L, R, O, W, so score him 5. Alright, so up till now we have done with aura, orientation, registration and attention. 10 marks for our orientation, in which 5 for place orientation, 5 for time orientation, then 3 for registration. Say him 3 words and ask him to repeat and also recall afterwards as well. The attention has 5 marks. Ask him to spell the word world backwards. It has five marks. Now we are going to the recall. Uh, remember, we have asked the patient to uh, remember three words. All right, and now ask him to. I have asked you to memorize three words. Can you please repeat and recall them for me? If patient is able to recall them, give him three score. And if not able to recall, just correct him and move to the next question. So, asking him to recall the three words you have asked him to memorize. Next is command. Here, doctor, you will give him three step command. What is three step command? Ask him to touch the index finger of his right hand to the nose and then the left ear. If a patient is able to follow this three step command, one for index finger of right hand, one mark, nose two marks, and ear three marks. Alright? Command has three marks. Next is doctor's language. Language you can remember it simple and easily by OET because OET has four parts like speaking, reading, listening, right, and writing. So here we are covering so it will be easy to remember in this way. First, doctors will ask the patient to name two objects. Just show him and two objects. You can show him pen, you can show him table, chair, and ask him to name. If he is able to name, give him two marks. Alright, in language, ask him to name two objects and give him two marks. Next is write. Ask the patient to write something meaningful on the paper. 
if he's able to write something meaningful, meaningful sentence that has a verb and that makes sense, give him one mark. He can write sun is shining, alright, today's day is bright, so give him one mark. Next is read. Give him paper, write something on the paper, you can write close your eyes and ask the patient to read and follow the command. If patient is able to read and follow the command that he is able to close the eyes, give him one mark. Next is speak. Say a phrase and ask the patient to repeat after you. So the phrases you can say no if ands or buts. Say this phrase and ask the patient to repeat. If your patient is able to repeat, give him one mark. Last thing doctors here in MMS is this drawing of this picture. Simple draw this, this five corners this shape and it is intersecting, both these shapes are intersecting with each other. So ask the patient to copy this. If patient is able to copy this, give him one mark and remember he should be drawing all the five corners of both the, of these and they should be intersecting. Then give him one mark. If he is not able to draw even one corner, don't give him mark. If he is able to draw like this, don't give him mark. So he should be able to draw the, all the five corners. Alright, so doctor, just a quick revision over our RCL. Orientation registration, attention, recall, command and language. Language has naming the object, writing something meaningful on the paper, read something you have written on the paper and then uh, repeating something after you and drawing this design, copying this design after you. So thank you so much. This is all from MMSC. Thank you.